The Black Mardemer trap comes after d4, d5, and e4, the Black Mardemer gambit. Black will accept, and now we go knight to c3, attacking the pawn, black will defend with knight to f6, and now we go pawn to f3. We're threatening to recapture the pawns, they capture us, we capture back, and now black plays pawn to c6, the Ziegler defense gaining better control of the d5 square. And now we get standard development, bishop to c4, bishop to f5, castles, and after black goes e6, we now play a very tricky knight to e5. And there is a hidden tactic in this position. If black simply develops with bishop to e7, then now we win with rook takes on f5. After they capture back, we now capture an f7 with the knight, black is getting forked here, and after they move, we simply capture the rook. And now we're up material, our knight will get out safely, and we are completely winning here. If you like this video, then subscribe for more.